you know when you've got like a metal joint that's like seized up with rust and you like grind it open that's how i imagine my leg is <laughs> guys so welcome to week 15 that is kind of mental isn't it 15 weeks so basically yeah we've had two pretty weird weeks we had a really intense week and then we had a recovery week so now it's all back to volume it's just all about volume 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 from here on out basically for the next few weeks so i'm going to kick this week off with a 15 miler let's uh, go have it shall we I'm not in now. I've paid 8.07. Morning. So it is Tuesday and we are going for 10 miles now. Uh, it's half past seven. The plan was to go at 7, but for some reason I've just been lazing around a bit, <laughs> so that's not good. But yeah, so half an hour late, but yeah, gonna go get 10 miles in. And then I got a gym session in the middle of the day today, and then tonight the pool is back open, so I'm going swimming. So yeah, that's gonna be really good, but for now it's 10 miles. So yeah, let's, let's have it. Oh, half miles in, average pace is 8.17, just taking it a little bit easier today. One hour, 22 minutes, average 8.13. Yeah, just pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, some of the hills felt a bit slow and difficult, but I mean, the hills aren't they? They're quite steep round here. <laughs> it is Wednesday morning. It's quarter to seven. I planned on going a bit earlier, but it's so foggy out that it was so dark. And I just thought, mm, yeah, it's probably not that safe. Uh, so basically I've waited like an extra like 45 minutes and I'm gonna basically go out now so I'm just finishing up a coffee and I'm gonna do a little bit of a stretch and a foam roll I feel like just really lazy in a way I just feel like crawling back into bed not not like I don't want to do it but I just like yeah I'd love to just get back into bed right now um, and the thought of foam rolling just yeah, it seems horrible. So I'm just gonna make it a really short one and then just get out, because then once I'm out, that's it. Like, there's no going back, is there? Um, and I think for the route, I'm just gonna run directly just away from the house so that I can't give up early. <laughs> <laughs> cool, one mile in, only 49 to go. <laughs> Look at that sun.
nearly six miles in now and setting 8.51 feeling all right just feel like there's a long way to go <laughs> Eleven miles in, average pace eight forty. Got that down quite nicely over the last five miles. Still feeling pretty good. Uh, about to hit fifteen miles. Pace is eight thirty-seven. Pretty happy with that. Just trying to make sure that. Just don't gas myself out massively at any point. Ooh. Right, that is the first 25 miles done. 3 hours 34 minutes exactly, which is an average of 8.34 I think, you tell me now, and tell me a minute, 8.34 yeah, wicked, Whew, I'm sweating like the cap, that, can you see that, it's literally dripping, <sighs> yeah, I was like really feeling that towards the end, um, yeah, my legs were just tired. <laughs> okay, so it's 25 to 4. So there's nothing else to say other than that I've just got to go get back out there. I've just got to go do another 25 miles. <laughs> it's starting to get a bit foggy again. Uh, it really cleared up and got really nice and there's actually been a really hot day so the last few miles of that last one like the last 10 miles were really warm but I think it's gonna just cool down as I run today so that's gonna be nice yeah so yeah there's nothing to do other than just to get out there and just start getting the miles in <laughs> Okay, so five miles in, average pace is 8.27, that's not too bad. Decided that a change in route would be good, and I've ended up running up this horrendous hill. <laughs> Can you see the cyclists? I've been catching them up this whole hill. That's really motivating me. <laughs> I love overtaking cyclists. It's really fun. <laughs> I'm far too competitive. I got them up the hill, then I turned right downhill. So did they, and they just went flying past. Gutted. I did have them on the hill though.
There we go. 50 miles. Done. Get in. Oh, I feel a bit shaky at the end of that. Oh, damn, that was hard. So hungry. So thirsty. I feel pretty sick. My legs hurt. Yeah, it's good. I like it. <laughs> So we're into Thursday, which is really cool. So yesterday was obviously the 50 miler, and the legs today are like lead. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'd say. They're, no, they're not awful. Funny enough, my left leg is a lot better than my right, which is odd because at the end of the run, I was really struggling with my left thigh, and I thought that was going to be the biggest problem when I woke up today, but actually, the biggest problem is my right ankle. That is super sore. But it's not awful. It hurts when I walk upstairs, when I basically go to step onto my right leg to go upstairs, when I put all my weight onto it, I get like a little bit of like a shooting pain up the leg. Not pain, more like a numbness that goes through the leg. And I just think it's just overuse. And then also the bottom of my hamstring on my right leg, just right getting into the back of my knee, just really hurts. <laughs> you know, when you've got like a metal joint that's like seized up with rust and you like grind it open. That's how I imagine my leg is. <laughs> I have got a PT session tonight with Jordan, which would be wicked. We're gonna go through some push stuff because my bench has been absolute weak source over the last two weeks. Yeah, I'll probably catch up with you just after the gym, but apart from that, yeah, it's just going to be a pretty easy day with one gym session, and then tomorrow we're going to be back on it with a running and try and make it 100 miles for the week. That would be wicked. I'm really excited about that. My first century in a week. The aim is to do it in a day and pull a drum kit, and I'm about to do that many miles in a week. So it's Friday, and the plan was to run this morning. So it is now quarter to six and somehow I have to fit in a 10 mile run and my longest gym session of the week. So yeah, I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. I'm guessing not great. It's late September and we, we've basically just had like 10 days of really hot weather and I don't fancy running in this boiling hot weather right now. I'd rather just have a really easy run. So I'm thinking, take it easy now, relax a bit, wait for the weather to cool a bit, which will happen in about an hour, then go for the run, pretty much in the dark, then come back, go in the gym and do my gym set pretty much finish it at like half nine, go straight to bed. <laughs> Do you know what? I've just instantly changed my mind. I recorded those clips and now I just want to get out and get it over and done with. So I'm going now. I'm going right this second. I'm just going to end this clip here, get out, get my clothes on, run in shorts, things, you know. You know what I need to run. I don't run naked. Okay, cool. So that run went way better than expected. So I did the whole 10 miles and it felt really good. It took one hour, 18 minutes, 51, which is an average of 7.53. And I really thought I was just gonna die on that run and it was just gonna be hard and horrible and my ankles were gonna hurt, my knees were gonna hurt. But you know what, it just wasn't that bad. I'm just switching arms. Um, yeah, it really just was not that bad at all which was wicked. The only thing was is that after the run I kind of stood around and I had a few messages from some people so I was just replying to those and then I decided to walk upstairs and when I was walking upstairs my right leg I was just getting shooting pains all the way up it so yeah that's fun. Uh, I'm not really sure why but didn't hurt really much at all on the run but yeah afterwards stairs were mm, pretty evil but yeah that's it. Morning guys it is pretty lush out so it's uh, 10 to 10 at the moment and I'm going for 15 miles now. So this is gonna make 100 miles for the week, which is sick. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I, this 
yeah, this whole weekly mileage is what I'm going to have to run in a day. That seems really mental, but I suppose the one good thing is, is that I did do half of the weekly mileage in one day. So that's really good. So I'm going to get out and go run now. 50 miles, here we come. Hopefully about like 7.55 pace, something like that. Don't know, might hit a few hills. We'll see how the legs feel as I go. But yeah, I shall see you in a bit, guys. Cheers. Five miles in. It is. Average pace is 737. Got to check in at 10 miles. So I'm doing 12 miles in now. Averaging 7.45. Yeah, just feeling pretty good. Okay, 99 miles done. We're going for past this last mile. Hopefully sub six. And go. See when I get there. 5.23. Seven seconds quicker than I wanted. Yes. 100 mile week. Get in. 100 miles, one week, including a 50 mile day and a 5 minute 23 last mile. Get in. Naked. I gotta go in the gym in a bit as well. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for watching week 15's progress. It's been a wicked week hitting 100 miles. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> Just hitting that sort of mileage. I couldn't have thought of that sort of like six months ago, even earlier. I think even when I started thinking of doing the 100 mile challenge, actually running 100 miles seemed really alien to me and now doing it in one week and having half of that being all in one day it seems much more achievable now which is awesome so a little bit of really exciting news is that I've signed up for my first ultra marathon which is the Gower Ultra which is 50 miles and that is in four weeks <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be fun. So that's going to be my first 50 miler that's all in one stint rather than breaking it up into double run day. So that's going to be absolutely wicked fun. But yeah, thank you so much for following along and all the support and the donations and everything. It's been absolutely incredible. So yeah, here's the week 16. We're going to be doing something else a little bit mental. So yeah, I shall see you week 16. Cheers guys.